Hi everyone, my name's Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara Just Saw. And I just went and saw John Wick 3. The movie where the Hobbs and Shaw trailer got a standing ovation. This film franchise obviously has a very large and dedicated following. So does Keanu Reeves, just check out his Reddit. I love John Wick 1 and 2. I think 2 is just as good as 1, and I will say that 3 is just as good as 1 and 2. So exciting, so well done, just masterfully executed. Incredible. I don't know if it's just because it was the first night or if there was just a big group of friends who went to my specific showing, but <laughs> the amount of applause breaks that we got during this film was astounding. Everything got an applause, every single thing, lines, action sequences, specific scenes, just a gun will show up and we'll just go crazy. It was so freaking fun. This movie, right out of the gate, is so incredibly exciting. The choreography is unmatched in big budget action films today. Usually in a big budget action film that you see today, you get some really cool choreo, some really great action sequences, but in this film, in this franchise, it's just non-stop. It's just throughout the entire film, non-stop, incredible sequences. I remember hearing somewhere, probably on the internet, that one of the sequences in Kill Bill took like two months to film. I don't know if that's true or not, or accurate. It's the internet, so definitely is. But I just have to wonder how long each of these action sequences took to film, because they're so specifically choreoed and it's so cleanly done and you see everything that's happening even though it's absolute pandemonium and it's visually incredible to look at but technically like just knowing a, the smallest amount about stage combat it's just unbelievable what they're doing in these sequences. As the second one was, this one takes place directly after the second. And you go straight into it. The first kill was absolutely incredible. The story of this one takes some turns that I wasn't sure about. I didn't know what the story of this one really was, was going to be, where they were taking us on this wonderful tapestry of a film. Doug Walker saw an early screening of it and said something similar, but there's there's a point in the middle that's just kind of like, what the hell, What? Are, where are you right now? What is happening? And it all makes so much sense. It's, it's so well written. I think Keanu Reeves says under 200 words in the entire thing and his acting is phenomenal. I'm such a huge fan of his. I think it was either the first or second episode of Tamara Just Saw, I saw John Wick 2, and I just decided to see John Wick, the first one, because I hadn't for Tamara's never seen, and just fell in love, just completely was blown away. The dedication he takes to this part, it's, it's crazy. You see all these training videos that he's, he's doing in between these films, and he, he's so in it, and so dedicated, and also, I mean, he's just like the coolest guy from what, you know, he shows to the world. What I'm trying to say is, I love you, Keanu Reeves. Ugh. There's also some incredible comedy in this movie. It's not jam-packed, they're not like jamming in jokes by any means, but because it's such a serious situation at all points in time in this film, it's, it leads to comedy. You know, that's what it is, right? If you're doing something so seriously, then whatever you're doing is hilarious. So there's some really lovely moments of super genuine comedy that feels incredibly fit in. It does not feel at all forced. And I think that's another thing in action, big budget action films now is like, there's always a ton of comedy, which I love. I love comedy interspersed in my action. I said this in this week's Tamara's Never Seen. I also love, love interspersed in my, my action films. But this, this was so, such a level above anything that's been coming out recently. In my opinion, I tweeted that John Wick is the best action franchise ever. I should have put in my opinion because people are disagreeing. <laughs> but I honestly think that. It excites me more than any other action franchise. It's, it's the most incredible action franchise. Oh God, I love it, it's so incredible. Wow. I wrote gun assemble scene, knife scene, 
horse scene, continental scene, underwater scene. That horse scene though, we got that leaked picture like a month or two back of him on a horse shooting someone, which just really, really pumped me up for this film. And we got to that and everyone's just screaming their heads off. It was so much fun and it was amazing. It was so, so, so good. In this film, he's a little bit more worn down than he was in the first two. And he just still brings it. Just, just incredible. There's still some really good dog content in this. I think the first line of business in the very beginning of the film is making sure that his dog is safe. Without giving too much away, there's another scene also where a different dog is put in some danger and I was so, sh the, the kill count at this point in the movie was so high already, but I was in shock about it. I, I, anything with dogs, it just feels so much more real for some reason than humans. Question mark. The end is as abrupt and infuriatingly incredible as the other two. I read an article about John Wick recently, I just love him, <laughs> where the director or the writer, somebody said uh, that they could continue making these forever. Like, they, they could just continue. The world they've built is so interesting and so cool, and the rules make sense of things, and you can just continue to grow off of it. Wow, there is a lot happening outside of my house tonight. It seems that Keanu Reeves really loves doing these as well, and I will continue to see them as, as often as they are put out. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, and after editing this, watch one and two again, because I just, it was so good. So exciting, incredibly executed. It looked beautiful. I drank water too fast. I totally recommend this movie. I'm gonna give this 10 out of 10. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I just ripped out my earring. Very John Wick of me. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'm pretty sure I'm seeing either Godzilla or Aladdin next week. That's a interesting. What is happening? Interesting kind of comparison of movies there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next week with hopefully a quieter set. Bye! Are you pissed off? Yeah.